we are training in, you can say B1 or do you say something else? Because I've heard both. Benus. Benus, AKA the Gold's Gym of the Middle East here. Uh, we're training today with the most tan English person in the entire world, Woo! Mr. Mike. <laughs> Mike, you've been killing it on everything lately. Like I'm just seeing everyone, I, got, I landed here in Dubai, I feel like, you gotta train with Mike. So I feel like you're the new unofficial mayor yeah. Oh, uh, like they're gonna call been, you Chic Mike. I don't know if I can say that. I feel like I, I had a head start because I came out here end of 2019. Smart. Before COVID, before it was like a, a cool place to be. It was always a cool place to be. But uh, yeah, I feel like this is my home now. When people it's come cool. to Dubai, they think, oh, like yes, this. I like that. Maybe I'll run into Mike at some point. I will say, I've been impressed with Dubai just on like the scale of it. Being close to Vegas, like in America, everyone like, you know, thinks Vegas is bigger, better. You come to Dubai and it just shits on Vegas. Yeah. Excuse my French, but honestly, it's just everything in Dubai is like everyone here has got a supercar. Yeah, it's trying to be bigger, yeah. better, in your face, fancier. So, supercars everywhere. I don't know if they're owned or rent. Is it something when you came out here, like I gotta get a supercar? Yeah, I was tempted to, but I couldn't really afford one. <laughs> <I moved out. laughs> if, you, if you're trying to compete with Jeez. having the best car, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Because there's always gonna be someone with more money than you. That's the thing. In Dubai here, I was reading up, there's like 53 million, 53,000 millionaires here. Yeah. 18 billionaires. So yeah, uh, you can flex as hard as you want. There's gonna some, be someone flexing a lot harder here. We're, uh, we passed a car the other day, it was like a $3 million Bugatti. But then someone was saying to Alec that the license plate, in order to buy that license plate, the license plate's like five million because yeah. it was closer if it's to like a single digit yeah, yeah, yeah. or double digits, man. It's insane. And the thing is, like Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, they're just they're common. There's like yeah, Whereas a G wagon's a Honda Civic. Yeah. yeah. Back home it would be like oh yeah. shit, like that was just normal. Which is why, of course, we're rolling in the Chevy because like that stands <laughs> out. That stands out on the road. So. Yeah. What do you what do you what do you have here, driver? I've got the Jaguar F Type. Woo! Convertible. Hey, so it's a nice nippy car, that one. I like it too, because it's English, right? Like, yeah. It's, it's stay English, and I've not seen too many of them. Staying true to his roots. I like that. Yeah. Well, what do we got today? We got an arm session? Oh. Welcome to the vlog. To go lay in a tanning bed first, real quick, for about no, 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 no. He'll, for about he'll, three he'll, years. He'll put a nice <laughs> filler on you. But I feel like also you're like every time I turn on my Instagram, I'm like, damn, Mike's on the top of this building. Mike's at, like, yeah. you, you do like you're seeing and doing so, Dubai. So right. basically, like as soon as there's like a new rooftop pool, yes, I'm gonna be there. That's I need what to I know. I need to check it out. You were just at the Palm at the observatory, right? Yeah, Up there. That was cool. Palm Observatory, the uh, the JBR new address resort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seventh floor. That's where we want to have uh, dinner this evening over there yeah. because it's the highest infinity pool in the world. Yeah. They were saying. Yeah, that's course, crazy. Dubai is insane. Like, so. but the thing is though, every week there's a new hotel opening. Yeah. And it's usually a skyscraper, and they usually put a pool on the top of it. So obviously, I'm going to be there. Like I like to. Yeah, I, I, so you, I like it. The guy, he trains hard. You obviously, you're, you you eat well. You're yeah. ripped, tan, good-looking guy from English. Got the accent. Which leads me to my next question: How are the ladies treating you out here? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's going very well. It's doing okay. If anything, right? it's like it's a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, there's, I love uh, it. it. Can be very. <laughs> Good. See, hey. that's like sometimes having a girlfriend is beneficial because you kind of keep your head down. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, I, I haven't even noticed the girls here in Dubai because <laughs> Morgan's just been the whole time. So you, have, you haven't seen us for eight months before. Ten months, yeah. So Ten Morgan months. and I, the reason I'm here is because Morgan and I, she's in Australia. They're in lockdown, like yeah. no getting in no matter what. She tried to get to the U.S. She got to L.A. They detained her, put her on a plane and sent her back. So it's been a oh. shit storm. Yeah, so we're like, hey. Dubai's open and Mike Mike's making it look good, so let's go. <laughs> I should but be getting paid you should. from the government. Hey, Dubai tourists, hit your boy Mike up. Make sure <laughs> the guy gets paid for because he's the reason we're here. So, all right, arm day. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some uh, curls on an incline, and then we'll do uh, skull pushes as well. So we're gonna do just get a nasty pump. That's what we're doing in this bodybuilding gym. You come in, you train arms, and you just get a sick, it's sick like pump. Big 
big arms. Let's start off with these two exercises. We got incline dumbbell curls, and then we got our incline skull crushers here. Back and forth, supersetting. Spin in about 90 seconds after you're done with the superset. in the set there went from incline dumbbell incline dumbbell curls where you can't cheat stand up give it a little couple cheat curls a little bit last year was the hardest year for me training ever uh, the lockdown would be hardcore. Was it? We weren't allowed to leave the house. Here? Yeah. Oh shit. How long did that last for? That was about two months. Damn. Well, we got really intense for about six weeks. So even for me, I got like pretty chubby. Oh. And I got pale as well. It was good. Was pale, pale chubby Mike. You guys never saw him on Instagram. Yeah, that was a dark, dark <laughs> time there. Now that was, that was my whole 2020. I felt like very pale, very chubby. Hey, tell me don't stop. Only help a real cause. I love the fact that uh, Mike's got his, his whoop on right now. It was looking really clean. Why did I say that? No, I feel like was, your, was yours black or was that a gray? That was a gray, right? It was a black one. Was it? <laughs> like, it's your diet? It's clean. I don't, okay. cheat. I don't That's cheat. what I was wondering. I was like, because if, here. If I have something sweet, it's game over. Really? I can't stop. But but I, I, I usually just have an omelette in the morning, yeah. salmon and rice protein shake and then usually on the evening I eat out or get a takeaway. Yeah. But you, you can, you can eat really yeah. clean and be satisfied. There's every every restaurant, we were, I was saying this, like Dubai, I worked at Texas Roadhouse growing up. There's Texas Roadhouse here, PF Chang's, Cheesecake Factory. I, I have tried to keep it somewhat simple, but my girlfriend, she yeah. can eat whatever she wants. <laughs> so she just eats whatever and I'm there like, okay, I'm gonna have a bite. Okay, I'm gonna have another bite. All right, we got one here. This is great for bicep peak. And honestly, Mike's bicep right now would be the highest point in England. <laughs> England, England doesn't have a lot of high points. What are you trying I mean, to say? I, I think, well, I mean, I mean, when I say high points, I mean elevation-wise. Mike's bicep peak, though, look at that thing. Nice, nice. I don't think it got heavy. I got heavy quick. Huh. Yeah, that might be a little bit too heavy. Woo! Moving like I live in it, never call them back. Bet you that they still with it. You ain't gotta like it. Nah, you just gotta live with it. Never gave us nothing. Uh, look at what we did with it. In a and it's crazy city. too. Like I was talking to him about like how his his YouTube took off. Like oh, he was doing the same thing. Like he was a teacher and he was making YouTube videos and they weren't getting views. And then it was yeah. like it just happened for him. And like he like, made hundreds of videos. Yes. Kind of like and it just went boom. So crazy. And obviously Matt's got a great physique too. So it's like. It's good when you finally see that happen for, for yeah. people like that because I feel like he's he's too good not to. When, like, when I first met him, I think he had he had about thirty three thousand Instagram followers, and his YouTube was about like twenty k. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. And you know what? As well, he was just incredibly consistent. Yeah. Every Wednesday. Every and Sunday. he edits all of them. That was yeah. that was what I was really. We're just we're just gassing you up here, Matt. But uh, I was really impressed with like the way he edits. He shoots and edits yeah. all in the same day. Yeah. Really impressive. I've never edited a thing in my life. Clap the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I woke up tomorrow, I'm like, I got a decent tan. I'm gonna show up and be able to know. So this, this is that's my natural color right there. Oh, okay. So he's I am Mike, my girlfriend's in here and he's <laughs> Hey, our, girl, our, our girlfriends are watching this, Mike. Oh. <laughs> Third set on here, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Lighten the weight and one and a quarter rep. So we're gonna really focus on, at the end, the concentration, the squeeze. So one rep, back a quarter, squeeze at the top and back down. So that's why we need to lighten it up. Essentially, we're doing almost a rep and a half. So just a, this one will 
blow up the biceps. And if I do, I'll be real with them. So right now, you just put your biceps onto the screen. You guys will get some growth through mics. Just do osmosis. <laughs> it will happen. I'm hitting my stride, to the Fetty. I was just sitting back watching them go. Racks on me now, yeah, it's looking slow. I hold it down, I got my own, keeping it close. We back to the bone. Uh, yeah, flying flashy. Ay, 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 too fancy. Ay, 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 can't walk past me. Ay, ay, right up your alley. Uh, Kelly Clarkson. Wait, wait, I gotta play a set. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Crikey, mate. My arm's done blown up. It was the craziest person you've trained with. Like, uh, just has mad intensity. Ooh, probably Michael Heron. Oh, yeah. Michael Heron is his intensity. Uh, back in the day, we did a, a chest workout, and I will say, like, Mike's intensity. And then Flex Lewis and Neil. Like, I trained with them a couple times, and they push it to like just drop sets and things like that. So half Thor Bjornsson too. So we trained. Oh, yeah. In Sweden, my back has never been the same. <laughs> we're doing Atlas stones. Yeah. I knew of him, but. So we're like, oh yeah, let's just train right off the get go. PR and just back squat, and like then we did yoke carry, and like I went to the restaurant afterwards, and I couldn't stand up. I was like in my back ever since. I did been... the, the Atlas stones and like burst the blood vessel on my quad because oh. I just like slammed them. Really? Yeah. Did your forearms get so all tore just, up too? Yeah, yeah. They all I had like a scab for about a month. No, those guys are next level. I will say like yeah. I got no desire to be uh, a strong I was man. Like, yeah, this is this is not for me. We'll leave it to the guys that are six ten and five hundred pounds. Glad. Came to Dubai, waited to come to Dubai until I had a serious girlfriend. So if I would have came single and hung out with Mike, we probably would have gotten kicked out of Dubai. No yeah. joke. It would have been bad. It would have been a dangerous wingman. Yeah, it would yeah. It would have been <laughs> English and American in Dubai, it's a it's a bad joke waiting to happen. Definitely a spoiled choice. <laughs> Hope to edit that to not sound like assholes, but hey. <laughs>
I think that you know you always have cool content. So like with Morgan, when we do content together, people love it because it's it's just so natural. But it is, it's hard. Like, how many different times can you yeah, train your biceps? That's, uh, my channel grew from doing all the tutorial stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I've done like six videos on how to build your chest. Yeah. Like, what more do I need to say? I know it. Just and keep on now, saying now it. Now there's more and more people on it's YouTube. True. It's oh, it's so saturated. And I think that's where like, but you you have a good personality. People follow you because it's also fun to watch. But also you got to remember everyone who's new to your channel. Like I was told this, like you just keep on saying the same things and like, you look at Jeff Cavalier, Athlete X, like he does the same types of videos over and over and over and over and over again because it's the same, like you always have new eyeballs on your channel, but yeah. it's tough. It's one of those things that it's like, and like you said, I look at people on Instagram and YouTube and I'm like, oh, I could do that, but I already did it four times. It's like, yeah. So it is, it's one of those things. It's like, that's why traveling is always fun and collaborating is always fun. Yeah. Cause when you're excited to hang out with someone or, or, or to film in a new place, they, they feel that yeah, you've got the energy. So, should we drop something? Okay. One, two, three, that's the double that's the double Come on, follow three next time, come on. Good, good, yeah, good set. Any injuries have you ever had to deal with one time from arm wrestling? Arm wrestling is juicy. Yeah. I was in a... I, I see in, it in here a lot, yeah. actually. In this gym, people arm yeah, wrestle, Larry, right? Larry's bringing everyone here. But I, I, I was in Austria, after he ski, and uh, I was in one part of the bar, there was another group of people, and I was with all my dad and his friends. Everyone's arm wrestling in the corner. And then the guy looked at me because he saw I was big, and he was like, pointing to me. Then all my dad and his friends were like, go on, go on, and I was like... <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so then I did it, and this guy ended up being like really strong. So I was like struggling, and obviously I have no technique right. when it comes to arm wrestling. So it was just like pure uh, uh, strain on yep. my elbow. Yep. Managed to do him, but oh, you did. Yeah, but it was it was not pretty. And then again, obviously the next day I was like, oh, yeah, I yeah. And I couldn't I couldn't do bicep curls for about a month. Arm wrestling, you guys out there? All right, it's not worth it. David Lade and I would arm wrestle like every time we met with Gymshark. He was big into arm wrestling. Same thing. Couldn't do it after we got done. I couldn't straighten out my arm. And after then, I'm just like, okay, no more arm wrestling. The ultimate macho thing. Like growing up, it's like you want to arm wrestle to yeah. see who's stronger. If you could best someone in arm wrestling, it's like oh, it's like asking someone what they bench. It's like those two are things. Like, hey, what do you bench? You want to arm wrestle? <laughs> one. Last set here. Yeah. Ah. Last one. Ah, yes. Absolutely smoked. <laughs> Woo. Good arm workout. Let's do a little, oh, uh, yep. Can't touch the shoulders. How are your, yours? How's yep. the flexing at? Yeah, no. That's the <laughs> thread. Great. I'll well, get out. I'm like, you could step on stage like in two weeks. You really yeah. could if you want. Let's find a show. Throw some baby lotion on. Doesn't even need a spray tan. That's the part about competing I hated the most was yeah, the spray tan. Uh, yeah. It never took to my skin well. All right, we got one more thing. We were doing a little uh, post grip push up. You know, a little patty cake action just to finish it off. Just a little friendly competition to blow up the triceps a little bit more. It's gonna be ugly. Just a bloodbath. Brought to you by Whoop here. <laughs> my, uh, Shameless plug. Use my link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a link in the description? Here we go. Watch me isolate. Hey, watch me isolate. Clap the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on bombers. They trying to block on my blessings. They thought I lost the stepping. I bet on me and my team. ISO is what I'm rapping. Put on for the whole city. Yeah, I got them rocking with me. I bet on me and my team. ISO is what I'm rapping. Three more. Oh, that's good set. Oh, that was, that was good. I got me more, more anterior delt than I thought. Sorry, I didn't press record. Ah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> The classic, classic <laughs> camera guy joke. <laughs> We're gonna fire off some questions. Adidas or Nike? Nike. One pair of shoes out for a nice dinner, sneaker-wise, what do you wear? Galuti. What are those? <laughs> I gotta look these up. We'll leave it to Mike to find some crazy-ass shoe here in Dubai. I'm getting uh, schooled in some shoes here, I like it. 
Oh, classy. It looks like a, a Stan Smith with the price tag that's a little bit more expensive than Stan Smith. <laughs> if, you're, if you're gonna set up the perfect date in Dubai, where are you going here? Oh, all these guys out there, you guys, I know a lot of you guys are asking me, Steve, I wanna go to Dubai, where should I go? We're getting inside information here right now. So it's very important there's a view. There needs to be a view. Yeah. Nice restaurant. Not somewhere that's just like overly fancy where everyone goes just to take a picture. Somewhere that's a little bit more subtle. A little bit more intimate. Yeah, I like, I like rooftop vibes. Yep. Somewhere higher. So maybe Balliard is good. Okay. That's a good spot. Zeta is good. Koya. Koya. I've heard about Koya. Koya is okay. good, yeah. Maybe I'll have to go take Morgan to Koya tonight. Last question, you're getting a supercar here in Dubai. What are you going with? The Aventador is a cool car. It's, I feel like at some point, I feel like I just need to have it for a bit. So you're I a don't... Lambo guy, not a Ferrari guy. Yeah, love it. Okay. And at the end of the day, I'm a Ferrari guy, but too, like, that's what I love. You got a Lambo and a Ferrari training together, hanging out. Yeah. But here's, here's, the, here's the real deal. Any tattoos? No, no. You know why that is? You wouldn't put a bumper sticker on a Lamborghini. Yep. <laughs> Good training with you, my man. Yeah, man, absolute pleasure. All right, guys, you guys know the deal. If you want to check out more on Mike's channel, which I know you guys do, I'm going to link his in the bio and then also both Team Whoop here, so check that out. Yes, yes. <laughs>